Hi, Lily. We're going to take a look at your uh, emphasis posting, give you a little bit of observation on, uh, on what we see here, a uh, bit of feedback. So uh, we went over the generalities of the project, what we're trying to emphasize there on the overall uh, video. So on this, I, I want to kind of get into some of your uh, specific imagery, um, kind of um, give you some feedback on uh, the things that I'm seeing, um, maybe some uh, some things that are are really sort of working for you, that kind of thing, um, things maybe you haven't noticed um, before. So I'm just basically looking at the overall sort of layout here, how you've put it together. They're a little out of order, um, but it seems like you have everything there um, in terms of, of what we're looking for. Um, the idea is that we are starting from the, the, the wide and moving all the way in. And so we wanted them ordered that way so that we understood that that was how we were doing it. That was the point of, of ordering them. But we'll just kind of go through them. What I would say is looking at these, um, you get really comfortable once you get to about this distance. Once you're at this distance, your imagery just gets much, much better. The compositions, the way you're handling shapes and the way you're sort of organizing things, it seems like suddenly you're like, ha, ah, finally I have you know, enough information to do something with. Um, these seem to be giving you a bit of trouble here um, as in terms of what to do. You're starting to get it here because you're starting to get a little closer, but you know, these way back here, it just feels somewhat like, ah, uh, you don't know what to do um, because things are so far away or so small. Um, each of us has these areas where we are, um, you know, not as uh, uh, as experienced with. And so we have to practice those things as we, um, as we go forward because it's the things we aren't experienced with that will always, you know, get in our way. They're always going to come up. Um, now, I don't think these are these are poor photographs at all. I think you've done a good job, except for the sun. We want to kind of avoid that when we can. Uh, having the sun in your photograph really just, you know, overwhelms everything. Um, as you can see, I mean, it just is taking over in terms of the contrast, not to mention uh, long-term exposure like this over and over, you can damage the, the, the camera uh, sensor as well. But, um, you know, when you have it in there, it just kind of, you almost want to put your hand over it like that. And it interferes a little bit with what's going on down here, um, because I think you've got something really interesting happening down here in terms of organizing the shapes and uh, things like that. But back to these, um, it's when you're able to sort of fill the frame here that it seems like you get really, really relaxed. Your compositions become less self-conscious. Um, and what that means is they seem to be sort of like naturally occurring, not where you are imposing the composition on the photograph, but you're sort of happening upon something and it's just sort of unfolding in front of us. Not to say that there aren't things we can improve on. Um, for instance, um, uh, we'll come back over to uh, say this one. Um, and so we have this kind of um, diagonal that's moving up into the corner here. Now you have other things that are really working really well. You have a diagonal going this direction, one that's going this direction. So you have good counterbalance happening. Um, so all of that works really well. However, <clears throat> we want to avoid having these sort of areas where a line or uh, attention is drawn to these corners like that. It's because the corner already has a lot of energy. Um, the corner is the edge of the picture frame. It kind of goes up and then jags across. So when it comes to the outer edge of our, our photographs or our artwork, the corners need less attention. Uh, we don't really need to call attention to them because they already have a lot of energy. And when we do call attention to them, they will actually act as like an arrow or pull like the 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 attention away from everything else. So uh, the, the, the best thing that you can do, rather than having it come up here, which is interfering with your energy, is something more like what you did on this one. So on this one, you can see you don't have that happening over here. You didn't have this line or this line um, going into that corner. And what happens is we can get our eyes down into 
whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> um, we can get our eyes back down into, well, if I can get back to it, um, into the photograph a lot better. If these lines were up here, it'd be a much difficult, much more difficult for us to, our eyes to travel down here. Um, it's an intuitive thing. It's an immediate thing. Our eyes will immediately go up here and we'll, we'll, it's not like we won't, we won't see everything else. It's just the energy will be sort of, something will be off and the viewer might not even know what it is and it won't feel as, um, as balanced and, and harmonious as it could be. So, that said, when you are in this mode where you're filling the frame with stuff, um, this is beautiful where you're working with reflections and shadows and angles and colors and things like this. It seems like you really are um, in your element here um, when you're like that. And then, you know, same thing here, um, filling the, the frame again. We're not quite moving around enough on these. It seems like you were hanging out here quite a bit. Um, I would have liked to have seen you move around uh, a little bit more, but you 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 were getting a lot of good imagery here. Um, but I would have liked to have seen you move around more, um, see what other elements you could find. There's so many elements uh, in that building and angles uh, could have been really cool. Now here, um, this kind of maybe got, got away from you and it is the... Um, well, let's see. Actually, you got them out of order, didn't you? So um, this may not be the as I see it, because it's usually the last one. But these you're working on shape here. OK, so with shape. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see where you're going with this one. Um, so shape, you know, you are identifying this. you got that really highly structured organization going on there. Same thing with this. Um, they do feel very, very similar um, in terms of their composition. This is a nice sort of element here. It's clear that you were seeing that, um, you know, in the placement of, of what you did with it. I'm not sure we needed this information here. This might have been a, a better sort of more complete uh, image if the this was it ended right here and a little bit more over here. This might have been the reason maybe there was some information over here you didn't want in there. Um, let's find what you're identifying as your, as I see it, because, um, oh, here we are. Um, so as I see it, so we're, we're kind of experimenting again here with some shadow, uh, or, and I'm sorry, with reflection. And it's an interesting kind of, uh, kind of feel. Um, you know, I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more abstraction. I think we're going for um, some object here. Uh, it's really difficult to remove subject like from your mind when we're working with photography because it just is embedded right there. Um, but with this one, I really was, you know, hoping and encouraging you guys to, to let go of, of subject altogether on, on at very least on this one so that you would experience um, something just completely abstract and new with photography. Photography is not the rendering of things. Photography is the recording of light. Light is what photography is, it's not objects. So with recording of light, think about it, it's constantly moving. It moves faster than anything else in that we know of. Um, and it has this sort of quality to it that just sort of um, captures our attention. So it doesn't need to be acting like a thing. It doesn't need to look like a thing. It can just be light in and of itself. And so that's what we get to when we start to make photographs of essentially nothing. This is a remarkable photograph. I think it's beautiful um, the way you're kind of creating this counterbalance here. Um, but I'd like, I really would be curious about how you approach a complete abstraction on something like that. Here again, you're really in your, uh, in your element when you're using angles, diagonals, but is it abstraction? Are we really pushing into the world of um, you know, um, something that is unrecognizable and seeing just how far you can go before the photograph becomes like not a thing at all. Not yet. Um, and I think you could really get there um, because you seem to have the potential to be able to get there with your photography. You're, you're very good when you have all kinds of stuff real close up. Um, you didn't do a, a, a bad job at all with the farther away things. It just seems like you were more comfortable. At least your images seem to be more relaxed and natural at that uh, closer distance there. Move around the building or when you're 
doing the um, experiments, be sure to investigate and explore thoroughly. We don't want to really see too many images in a posting that are like here, then here, and then here, like really close to one another. Um, break it up a little bit, unless the experiment calls for that, like to make a series that are that are moving like in a, in a line like that. We really want to have you moving around. It seems like you hung out on that corner quite a bit for this uh, exercise. You found some good images, but I'm interested in, in what you could have found maybe on the top there or over on the side or inside the atrium, stuff like that. So that's what I have for you. Um, I really look forward to seeing what you um, continue to make and we'll see you in the studio. All right, bye now.